Okay, so now we're going to differentiate implicitly. We've got 16y cubed, so we're going to bring that 3 down. So 16 times 3, and that's going to give us 48y squared. But because there's a y, we write dy dx. So that's how implicit works. The next one's a product. So we've got 9x squared, and we've got v equals y. So differentiating u is going to give us 18x. Differentiating v is going to give us 1 dy dx because there's a y there. And then we do those two and those two. So we get 9x squared dy dx plus 18xy minus 54 equals 0. And the 54 comes from the minus 54x. We take dy dx outside a bracket and we've got 48y squared plus 9x squared equals 54. At the same time, we're moving the other stuff to the other side. So dy dx equals 54 minus 18xy over 48y squared plus 9x squared. Everything divides by 3. So we get, yeah, yeah, everything divides by 3. So we get 18 minus 6xy over 16y squared plus 3x squared. And that will be its simplest form. So that's part A. For part B, find the coordinates when dy dx equals 0. So what we're going to do when we make this equal to 0, the bottom is going to disappear. We essentially will be left with 18 minus 6xy equals 0. And you want to solve this simultaneously with the first equation. So you're going to rearrange it for either for x or for y. So I'm going to rearrange it for x. I get 6xy equals 18. So x is going to be 3 over y. And I'm going to sub it into the beginning equation. So I get 16y cubed plus 9 lots of 3 over y squared multiplied by y minus 54 3 over y equals 0. Now, I'm going to let you clean that all up. If you have any problems doing so, let me know. But you should end up with 16y to the 4 plus 81 minus 162 equals 0. So 16y to the 4 equals 81. And so y to the 4 is 81 over 16. So to find y, we're going to take the square root and the square root again. So we take square root of 81, we get 9, root it again gives us 3. And the same at the bottom is going to give us 2. But remember, we have plus or minus. So we've got our two answers. We then need to sub it back in to find, um, to find our x coordinate. So we can just put it into here. So if we have 3 divided by 3 over 2, we're left with 2. Um, so now my coordinates are going to... Well, let's put it in anyway. x equals 3 divided by 3 over 2, which we should know is 2. And um, the other x coordinate is 3 divided by minus 3 over 2. So we'd get minus 2. So hence, our values are 2, 3 over 2, and minus 2, minus 3 over 2. Okay, so I hope...